Welcome everybody. It's a Seis de Mayo, day after Cinco de Mayo. I don't know if people are hungover or party too much or ate too much Mexican food yesterday, but thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. It's a great opportunity for us to share with you some of the complexity, some of the cool aspects of the tech, but also to share with you how to best use this in conjunction with Newcomb. So Solid Site Sciences is in our 20th year. Nothing's fast, nothing's easy when you're dealing with the brain and trying to manage state through managing brainwave function. And it's an interesting path that Dr. Holloway took. There are a lot of ways you can activate your state, change your state through emotive reading, through dialoguing, through breath work, through food, nutrition, exercise. And these are ways to say, hey, what I want is to change my state. What I want is to accelerate my brainwave function. What I want is the um, beauty and the awesomeness of caffeine. What I want is the endorphins released from exercise. What I want is oxytocin released from intimacy. Okay, fine. We didn't take that approach. The approach we took is understanding human brainwave function and understanding what, when the brain is in a certain frequency, the body and the mind and the spirit are doing a certain thing. It's a different way to look at the world. In the typical 24 hour biorhythm of a human being, you're gonna be kind of oscillating in frequencies varying from 0 0.5 Hertz at the deepest depths of Delta, which is dreamless like sleep, all the way up to 41 Hertz, which is a peak uh, gamma brainwave function. So there's five brainwave functions, four is pretty, pretty much where people exist on a daily basis, and it's all frequency related. So when your brain is oscillating at a certain frequency, the body and the mind and the spirit are doing a certain thing. So slow waveform at 0 0.5 Hertz, the body's in deep dreamless sleep, okay? That's deep delta sleep. Then you move up the spectrum into theta at zero, at four Hertz to seven Hertz. And in theta, your body's healing, restoring, recovering, and it's the second stage of sleep and a lot of good things are happening to your body on a cellular level and an oxygenation level. And then in alpha, 8 hertz to 12 hertz, a little faster frequency, is the creative zone, being in the zone, being relaxed. And then we get into beta. Beta is the broadest range. Beta is from 13 hertz to 38 hertz. At 13 to 15 hertz, you're alert, you're functioning, your brain is active, but you may be a little lethargic in your neurons firing and reaching their destination. 15 to 20 hertz, a faster brainwave frequency, you are in focus. So there's no distractions. You're in tune, you're focused on whatever it is you're doing. 20 to 25 hertz, you're out of a focus and you're a little bit more towards stress. 28 to 38 hertz, you are in high levels of stress, fight or flight, a lot of things are happening and a lot of control is relinquished from your thinking and activated to the reptilian lizard part of our brain, which is the fight or flight response. And then above 38 hertz, above very, very, very panic state of hypervigilance, fight or flight is gamma, 39 to 41 hertz. So that is the realm and that is how we operate on a daily basis. And we're all different and we're all different all the time. Your mood is never consistent, okay? Some days you feel more pathologically optimistic, other days you feel more defeated by external stimulation, but it's all related to this and it's all related to brainwave. So when your brainwave function is in 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 hertz, you are focused. When your brainwave functions at 10 hertz, you are creative and relaxed. When your brainwave function is at five hertz, you are in a lucid dreamlike state and your body's restoring, recovering. When you are in 0 0.5 hertz, your body is in a deep, deep dreamless like sleep. That's how this works. So over the course of the last 30 years, the company is in its 20th year, but prior to the company founding, Dr. Holloway had done over 10 years of research in this arena. And to solve the riddle of managing brainwave function with the expectation that we can create a defined physiological outcome in state is a really complex challenge. So the complexity of what's been developed cannot be overstated, and this isn't the arena for us to get into that specificity, but just trust us. The human brain is the most complicated organ in the history of this planet and to commandeer and to manage and to coax it into certain states using brainwave entrainment and, and function creates a very, very, very high demand for a complex solution. Okay. Let's start with new calm. 
Nucom was designed and developed for cellular restoration, recovery, and allow the body to take control back from different areas of our brain that are a little bit more evolved and a lot more network and neural circuitry that's been you know, gifted to that through the course of time. What I'm saying is the primordial midbrain and the autonomic nervous system and your fight or flight response is 40 million years evolved. So you can imagine how much you've learned just in the last week, the last month, the last year, extrapolate that to 40 million years. This neuronal circuitry is exceptionally sophisticated and we know still very little about the complexities of this. That's the primordial piece. But the primordial piece also is kind of governing in addition to fight or flight, it governs human fear, stress, anxiety, depression, and worry. Fear, stress, anxiety, depression, and worry. Does that sound familiar? That's kind of the mood continuum of how we live. And it's all derived through triggers, typically externally, that activate this stress response and this cortisol and this catecholamines. So that's that aspect of life. Nucom was developed and designed expressly to put the brakes on all of that and allow the body to get into a homeostatic balance. When liberated from your monkey mind, when your thoughts can slow down a little bit and cortisol can stop being released, your body knows how to heal you. Your body is the magic. Your body is the miracle. Your brain and your body are incredible. It's just that we've taught ourselves to override the body's natural healing mechanisms through cortisol and our to-do list and the poor food choices we have and the traffic and all the external stimulation. That's what's going on. So Newcomb was born out of the expressed intent to put the brakes on because what you see over the last couple of decades is an acceleration to higher stress, higher stress, higher stress, higher hypervigilance, higher fight or flight. It's nonsensical. If an alien came to this planet and evaluated the last century, they'd say, hmm, you guys shouldn't be at your highest levels of stress today. It doesn't make any sense. Life is as easy and as good as it's ever been. Um, what is going on? It's the activation of all this information that's going to our frontal cortex. And if I take in a thousand marketing messages a day or 7,000 marketing messages a day and I watch the news and they're constantly trying to fear monger and elicit responses. So say I take in 10,000 stimuli a day here through my visual cortex and through my auditory, invariably something's gonna trigger a stress and a fear response. So that's kind of the challenge we're living in. New Calm is designed expressly to pull the plug on the stress response and allow us the opportunity to self-regulate because we as a human species have learned not to. That's it. That's Nucom. Great. Nucom was never intended to be a single product line, but as a small company with all of our focus on research and development and building the best mousetrap, we built the complexity in the engine to activate and create a physiological state change to any of the 41 Hertz continuum I talked about from gamma all the way down into Delta. We have that, we've had it for years. So that brings us to Ignite. In 2015, a Premier League soccer club came to us and asked me a simple question. Mr. Poole, we love Nucom. Our players are healing faster, inflammation's less, cortisol's left less. They're mentally more acute. They're sleeping better. They're performing better. They're on the pitch longer. It's all really good. But can you create something that'll jack up our players to get on the pitch? That was the basically impetus of the invention of Gamma Ignite Warrior Brain. So I called Dr. Holloway and said, hey, this is a cool request. I don't really know what it means and how we're going to do this, but can we do this? And his answer was, of course we can. So several months later, we have the master software with the specific designation of cycling the brainwave function from 13 hertz to 40 hertz, okay? 40 hertz is above the beta spectrum and above stress and hypervigilance and into this acute band of 39 to 41 hertz, a very high frequency that's commensurate with preparing you for very high intense mistake-free focus. That's the gamma piece of the puzzle. So how do we do this? Well, in developing the platform for the physics, Dr. Holloway with an innate knowledge of the human brain and a real persistence in trial and error figured out the complexities of the brain. And in understanding the brain, 
evaluated all the compensatory mechanisms that are going to happen. I think sometimes we forget just how incredibly gifted the human mind and the body is. We have a closed ecosystem with trillions of cells. That's our body and our brain. If I react or do something to that ecosystem, there is a compensatory reaction. It's going to compensate. I can't tell you exactly what it's going to be. But when you're developing software, you're de developing a tool to manage the brain, you have to go through so many layers and iterative processes of understanding. When I do this, the brain's going to do this. When the brain does that, I need to do this. When I do that, the brain's going to do this. This in lies the complication and the sophistication required to create this. So the software is doing all the work. You can't really hear it, except we added a little bit of awareness to the software on purpose. So Leap Day 2016, we launch our first track. It's not launched to the public. It's all done through confidentiality agreements and all basically secret behind the door opportunities for professional athletes to listen to this. And in doing so, what we didn't want the athlete, because a lot of times you don't get to spend a lot of time with them and educate them on what it is. We didn't want them to think that when they listened to an Ignite neuroacoustic software track, they were listening just to music. So for those of you who've heard Ignite, you have heard a low level, that's the software platform. That's the physics. That's the hundreds of megabytes of mathematics, algorithms, and physics designed to trick the brain and elevate your brainwave into a level of consciousness commensurate with gamma brainwave function. That's what we've done. The software is amazing, predictable, and will never let you down. One of the beauties of working in software, mathematics, algorithms, and physics is there's no uh, there's no thinking. There's no, hey, I wonder if, if uh, Joe's going to like this, or I wonder if Amy's going to resonate with this frequency. This is pure math. We already know what we're doing. We know the designed expressed intent is to elevate your brainwave function and present your midbrain with a pattern that your brain's going to follow. We're going to take you to a place. For Ignite, this is the antithesis of new calm. For new calm, we're taking your brainwave function from 13, 14 hertz or a stressed 20, 25 hertz, and we're slowing it down to 12 hertz, down to four hertz. With Ignite, we're doing the opposite. So we have a nonlinear oscillating algorithm, purposeful, designed expressly to ensure that we can continuously trick the brain. We have a pitch and frequency mathematical matrix that's kind of the math and the, and the backdrop to the nonlinear oscillating algorithm. We have binaural signal processing. So we're using trickery that was discovered by a German scientist in 1839. Knowing how the brain compensates, we're using that against the brain to trick the brain by presenting it with a beat that you can't hear, okay? And then we're using vibrational aspects of instrumentation. So there are four master components to the software designed expressly to capture your brain's attention, keep you engaged as we drive you up. Now, with the brain and the complexity of the brain and the evolution of our frontal cortex and our central nervous system and our autonomic nervous system, the fight or flight and all these different mechanisms that need to be paid attention to as you develop something like this, there's a, there's a path that you have to take. You cannot just take my brainwave function from 13 hertz to 39 hertz. It doesn't work that way. You can't just take your brainwave function from 13 hertz to 0 0.5 hertz. It doesn't work that way. So everything that we develop, and you'll see all the things we're going to showcase in the next year or so, everything we do has a pattern and a pathway. We present the signal to the brain. We meet it somewhere, okay? And then we take it for a joyride. Ignite is a joyride north to a higher frequency. So we're gonna start that first minute at 13 Hertz, low level adult functioning above alpha and you're okay. And then within a couple minutes, you're up to 15 Hertz going through the focus arena of 15 to 20 Hertz. And then we keep going, keep going and keep going. So the master track is 15 minutes, how they're built, certainty and gratitude I think are 13 minutes and change. 
Legendary's 14 minutes. How they're built is they're expressly designed to level off at the last three minutes of each track to pure ignite warrior brain. Your brainwave function is in 39, 40, and 41 hertz in the last three minutes of each track. So the biohackers out there are gonna call us up and say, hey, can I just splice the last three minutes and stitch them together? No, you could if you want adrenal fatigue in about a week and have no ability to have an endocrine system and have no energy, we can burn you out really quickly. When you think of Ignite, don't think of Ignite versus caffeine, don't think of Ignite versus monster energy. Think of Ignite several layers above the complexity and several layers above the intensity. We're not dealing with having to drink some kind of stimulant. We're going right to the brainwave function, okay? We're simply saying, we're gonna take you to this place that's in this kind of superior realm, kind of a super species type of thinking and activity. We're gonna take you there. And it's profoundly stronger than any type of stimulant drink or caffeine that you can do. We haven't measured against crystal meth or cocaine. I'm sure it's significantly greater than that as well, but you get the, you get the understanding. This is very, very, very powerful stuff. It belies the human brain and the human intuition because you think, how can listening to something elevate my consciousness? And how can listening to something take me to this place that creates a superior species? That's incredible, isn't it? Well, that's what we've done. And we've proven it for the last 11 years clinically with the patents and the approvals. That's new calm. The beauty of what we've created is a platform. So you now have in your possession Ignite Warrior Brain designed expressly to change your state on demand with no drugs, no stimulants, no side effects, with exception of being very careful and having the humility to know that you can burn out on anything that creates this accelerated brainwave frequency. So it's really simple. Every human being is different. Your nutrition is different. Your biorhythm is different. Your epigenetics are different. You're different all the time. We're vibrational, we're frequency, our moods change, our food changes, our glucose changes. So we don't know. We don't know what the exact recipe for you is. You do. You're your own, you know, best source of information for you. So what we do know is that when you listen to Ignite too many times in succession, you're going to become agitated like you've had way too much caffeine. That's when you stop listening to it. It's that simple. Listen to this as much as you like. Stop listening to it when you feel agitated and over-caffeinated, okay? New Calm requires a disc, requires an eye mask, and requires the neuroacoustic software. It's different, and it's more complex, but it's simple to understand. When we are awakened by light, and cortisol is at the highest level when we wake up, we are easily accessed to greater increase in frequency. We don't necessarily want to take a nap when we just woke up. We don't necessarily want to take a nap at 11 o'clock or two o'clock in the afternoon. So with new calm, we have to get, we have to kind of fight inertia and fight the body's natural mechanism for wanting catecholamines and stress and bring on your day so you can crush it. Okay. Ignite doesn't suffer that consequence. There is no inertia. We have to fight. We actually are going to go with inertia. So if the ball is rolling, let's keep rolling. So ignite does not require an eye mask. All right. We are working on a biosignal processing disk. We do believe there's opportunity to create greater nutrients for the experience, but the physics alone will drive your brainwave function to this sweet spot of 39 to 41 Hertz. So again, you put it on, you need headphones. Is there value in just listening to it ambiently? Yes. Can you listen to it in your car? Yes. Hopefully you have a radar detector and you're a safe driver because that's dangerous as well. So you listen to it, first minute, you're starting to get into it. And you can tell like in Legendary, there's, there's kind of a repeating rhythm. We don't have, again, suffer the complexity of New Calm. In New Calm, you'll notice if you're listening to it and you're lucid, there is no real repeating rhythm because as soon as you emotionally connect to the melody, we have to take that away from you because it sparks your brain again. With Ignite, we don't have that issue either. So we can build melodies that stick in your frontal cortex and stick in your brain like this. Okay, cool. So you start listening to it, all right? You start rolling, you start, your mojo starts picking up. You will start noticing 
your sensory motor rhythm activated. You'll start noticing your olfactory start improving. You'll start noticing a vigilance that you're not used to, a clarity you're not used to. Your heart doesn't pitter patter. You don't have shallowness of breath. It's not like a stimulant. You're not like worried. You're not getting, you know, moving around like this, but internally you can feel a shift. You can feel your energy. You can feel your sensory motor rhythm activate. You can feel your motor cortex activate. You can feel your strength. You can feel it. For any of you who have listened to it so far, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So over the course of this 13 to 14 minute pattern, we are accelerating the brainwave frequency, accelerating the brainwave frequency, accelerating the brainwave frequency. And at the end, those last three minutes, we have you in a peak performance attitude state where not only is your mind in peak performance, your body is prepared. That's where the warrior brain comes from. So we will activate your olfactory. This is your memory. There's also a survival mechanism to your nose. We'll activate your auditory. We'll activate your peripheral vision, but we'll activate your musculature, your sensory motor rhythm and your motor cortex. We literally will prepare you for battle. That's the whole concept of Ignite. So this came to be on Leap Day 2016. And over the course of five plus years, we worked mostly with the DOD and professional athletes. There were 998 humans who signed a confidentiality agreement and were allowed access to this technology. And so they kind of created their own biorhythm and their own understanding how to do this. And um, that, it's a great opportunity to share because everybody's different and everybody's gonna have a, have a different reason to do this. We work with a lot of professional athletes. We work with a lot of endurance athletes. We work with a lot of people that push their body in discrete time frames. Not forever, you'll die if you push your body all the time, but in discrete time frames. Okay, great. So what do we see as a great pattern for how, how to incorporate new Coleman and Ignite into your life? You want to incorporate a habit of new calm. Okay, this is the caveat emptor of Ignite. If you don't take care of yourself and you don't create autonomic nervous system balance, restoration, recovery with new calm, we're going to burn your adrenals out in a very rapid fashion. And adrenal fatigue is nothing to be excited about. It's nothing to want. And it's certainly very difficult to recover from. We don't want that. So please have the understanding of the body and the brain and what you can do and can't do. And understand that you have to habitualize new calm as a regular practice to put your body in a place where it can accelerate on demand. Once that's done, once you have habitualized new calm and your body's in this restorative zone and you've baselined, we're great. We're good to go. So a lot of people get up and if they slept poorly, they'll do new calm in the morning. After they get up from new calm, they will then choose ignite. I was speaking to an FBI operator just last night and he said, Jim, I don't drink coffee anymore. Ignite has supplanted my coffee. I don't drink it anymore. I don't need it. I don't need it as a diuretic. I don't need it in my gut. I just don't need it. So what does he do? He does new calm and then he listens to ignite once or twice, 13 minutes, 13 minutes. That's a pattern we've seen regularly adopted by most human beings. Afternoon, 12 to four, natural biorhythm of a human takes that cognitive dip and you take that dip right now. Right now, many of us could, if we turn it down, close our eyes, we could fall, or, you know, fall asleep or at least drift into alpha. But in the afternoon, a lot of people put, put aside time to work out. Well, then the challenge happens, right? Two o'clock happens, you're running, 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 and you know you want to go to the gym or get on your Peloton or whatever, four o'clock. By three o'clock, your itty bitty shitty committee, that little committee in your head that tells you you're no good at everything and tries to come up with insecurities and reasons why you stink at everything, will start telling you you don't really have time to work out and you don't want to work out and why don't you want to work out? That's when you might want to entertain, listen to Ignite again, because it'll create this unstoppable force in your brain and your attitude where you'll be like, get me to it now. But during the workout is when we highly recommend that you entertain the idea of using Ignite. You will see this with all the biometrics out there and all the measurement tools, whether you're looking at an aura ring or a whoop or you're doing a Peloton, everything's measurable now, right? We have the quantified self in spades, everything's measurable. So you literally can see, cause I've done the same thing myself. I'll do the Peloton and I'll do a class. I'll do the Peloton the next day and I'll do Ignite. 
not even close. We're talking about 20 to 25% improvement in my power output and my cadence. It's unbelievable, but it happens every time. So during your workout, use Ignite, okay? 13 minutes, 26 minutes, whatever. Use it until you don't want to use it anymore. That's a really good use of this product. So you can use it to supplant coffee. You can use it for an energy pick-me-up and a mood enhancer. And you can use it for actual cardio activity, weight training activity, whatever that is. Do not use Ignite after probably 7 o'clock at night, okay? Everybody's different. So how you titrate back from 39 hertz down to a normal brainwave function of 14 or 15 hertz, maybe it takes five hours, maybe it takes six hours. It's all anecdotal because everybody's so different. I was at a meeting in Sun Valley, Idaho in 2017, and this gentleman was bugging me ad nauseum. And I liked his enthusiasm, but he was like a small dog who grabs hold of your leg and didn't want to let go. And he just kept asking me, can I try it? Can I try it? Can I try it? Can I do that dinner engagement? I'm like, all right, get this guy away from me. Here, go listen to this. I don't see him for 30 minutes. Comes back and he's like, this is incredible. What is this? The next day he called me and says, you were right. I didn't go to sleep till three in the morning. This was at eight o'clock at night. So be cautious to understand you wouldn't drink 10 five-hour energies at 10 o'clock at night. You wouldn't do it at eight o'clock at night. You don't drink coffee after, you know, two, three, four in the afternoon. So Ignite, don't use late, please. You won't sleep. Use in the morning, replace coffee. Use during the day when you're kind of mentally lethargic or you're not liking the day, or you simply want to change your state from, wow, things don't really feel that good to, wow, I'm going to crush the day and crush what I have to do. That's what, that's what this is. New Calm and Ignite in the platform we've developed and the platform we're releasing and the platform we are increasing is designed expressly for you to activate and change your state on demand safely, predictably, and with no drugs. You didn't get a good night's sleep. 20 minutes of New Calm is equivalent to two hours of restorative sleep. Great. Do New Calm. Do it for 40 minutes. Gives you four hours of sleep. It augments the sleep that you created the night before. Then you feel good. You feel balanced. You feel clear. You feel calm. Then Ignite. Great. Ignite. Go crazy. Mentally, physically, do whatever you want to do. Then in the afternoon, go work out. If you're doing a long run or whatever it is you're doing, it doesn't matter. Put the headphones on or the earbuds in, listen to Ignite, and go crazy. You're going to get to a place mentally where literally nothing seems impossible. Anything you want to do, you can do. This is the muscle of certainty. You can feel it. It's not up for debate. You literally can feel. Well, the coolest thing about Ignite for us as a neuroscience company that behind the scenes has been building this platform for 20 years is new calm is difficult for humans to articulate because they don't even know where they're at when they're in new calm. They're in this weird lucid dreaming state and they're in and out. What they do know is that they're in for a defined period of time. They have no idea how long they were in. They get up, time has passed, but they feel calm, they feel grounded, they feel clear, they feel patient, they feel pathologically optimistic, and they want to take on the day. But they don't know how they got there. With Ignite, you can feel it. This is really cool for us. Because as you can imagine, as a neuroscience company serving humans across six continents and seven industries and millions of people trying this, you can't feel new calm and new calm because you're kind of out of it. But Ignite, you can. So we like this because it's not up for debate. Here's someone listening to music and here's someone listening to Ignite. And you can literally see the physiological difference and you can see their eyes bug it out when they come back. You are lit up like a Christmas tree when you're done with Ignite. You are ready. We got a quote when we were doing the sneak peek last month from a person who says, okay, so I'm listening to Ignite and I'm walking around my neighborhood and by the minute three or four, I'm running. And she says, I hate running. Boom. That's what this is all about. It's about activating your state, circumventing the need, this pedestrian need to pollute your gut with acid and Coca-Cola and caffeine and all that garbage, right? That's not necessary. Put Ignite on, there's no ramifications. Guess what? When you listen to Ignite, you don't have to poop, okay? There is no coffee gut or accelerated diuretic. There's none of that. My daughter yesterday 
played lacrosse and I said, hey, why don't you move it to midfield? She said, my stomach didn't feel well. I said, why not? She said, I, I drank a Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Hello, if you're gonna do that, just play your game in a diaper. You don't need to worry about those. There's no side effects to Ignite. You activate your brain, you become unstoppable. You have this incredible high intense mistake-free focus and it will happen every time you use it, okay? That's what we've done. Now, I wanna share with you the first opportunity, the first public forum since last night. Something pretty amazing happened last night as a company. Five and a half years ago, when Dr. Holloway invented the platform and the physics and the algorithms and the mathematics of this complex software to generate a physiological outcome, it was called Newcom 2.0. It had taken 20 years of Newcom 1.0 and dramatically and profoundly improved the efficacy, the strength, the power, the ability to predictably elicit a state change in your brain using physics. Okay, so we applied for a patent. Probably some of the most complex patent architecture I've ever seen. Certainly very few humans will ever understand what we did but it's methods using nonlinear oscillating algorithms, vibrational patterns, binaural signal processing, and a pitch and frequency mathematical matrix to elicit a physiological state change in humans on demand. We had 19 claims and last night we heard from the United States Patent Office. We are awarded the only patent in the world and all 19 claims. We now by virtue of this in the future, we'll be able to say on our app, Newcom Rescue 2 or Newcom Ignite Legendary patented for the first time in the history of this planet. We have patented the method built to entrain the brainwave function using neuroacoustic software to elicit a predictable physiological outcome. It's all mathematics. Any person listening to this, I can tell you this right now. On minute one of Ignite, your brainwave is at 13. It's not up for debate. This is math. At minute, say, six, your brainwave functions at 26 hertz. At minute 10, you were at 39 hertz. At minute 11, you're at 40 hertz. And at minute 12, you're at 40 hertz. This is the defined platform and the physiological outcome of what we've accomplished. You're going to feel it. You're going to live it. And eventually, here's what we've built. So for those of you who are new to the empire, we are a hardcore tried and true neuroscience company. We spent all of our time, resources, and effort behind this curtain, building the strongest, most profound neuroscience platform, usually using the synergistic approach of a biosignal processing disk and complex neuroscience through software to elicit a state change. But we've created a product portfolio that addresses each part of our lifestyle. So we, literally in the next few months, there's gonna be a sleep track coming a sleep track, accelerate your brainwave function into Delta. For the world that seems to be plagued with high stress and doesn't understand that stress is a fundamental driver to poor sleep, guess what? We solved stress with Newcomb, now we're gonna solve the onset of sleep with the sleep accelerator. So we have 0.5 Hertz. We have alpha and theta in Newcomb. We also have a focus file, 15 minutes, 20 minutes or 30 minutes that drives you to 15 to 20 Hertz. We'll release that probably in the first quarter of next year and we have the Gamma Ignite Warrior Brain file. So what we've created is this opportunity to use all these complexities that you can't hear with the exception of Ignite, you can hear the bass rumbling of a software. Other than that, you hear the melody and you hear this incredible feeling of emotion. We're taking you there. We want you to be at a place when you listen to Ignite where nothing seems impossible to you. Nothing that seems mundane Nothing seems overwhelming. Nothing seems to elicit a, a sense of insecurity or self-doubt. We want you to have an absolute feeling of certainty. We want you to feel unstoppable. And we want you to, to accomplish what you want to accomplish. It's not up to us to decide what you want to be. Just because I listen to Ignite doesn't going to make me a professional athlete. You need talent for that, right? So whatever I want to do, if my state wants to be hyper vigilant and, and access to just great resources that my mind has to offer, I'm gonna to listen to this track. That's what I'm gonna do. You're never gonna build resistance to Ignite. 
I don't want to get too deep into the physics of what we do, but the brain is incredibly gifted and talented at pattern recognition and finding holes in the, in the software. Your brain's incredibly gifted at once it determines the pattern of finding shortcuts, okay? It's called the reticular activating system. It's a big piece of the brain and it's the most sophisticated filtration system in the world. It's designed to filter all your senses from all five senses and your intuition. Well, its primary function is pattern recognition. So you can imagine millions of years of evolution of the reticular activating system, there's very few things it hasn't solved. It will not solve the new calm platform. And why won't it? Because mathematically, the brilliance of Dr. Holloway understanding the reticular activating system and the primary goal of pattern recognition created the nonlinear oscillating algorithm. What does that mean? That means that the beat presented to the brain that allows us to kind of pace you where we want to is in a constant dynamic flow and constantly changing. So we're commandeering your reticular activating systems, all of its resources to figure out the pattern, right? So it's constantly trying to figure out the pattern. It can't. Therein lies the, the gift to humanity to understand your brain will never figure out the pattern. You will never build resistance to new calm. You'll never build resistance to ignite. The difference is you. For new calm, your experience is always different. Why? Nutrition, environment, external stress, sleep, a lot of variables. The more stressed out you are, the more profound the new calm experience is. Ignite, nutrition, stress, glucose, energy, sleep, same thing. So the premise is the same, but how you interpret 39 hertz from day to day is different. How you interpret new calm from 12 hertz to 4 hertz is different. So I listen to Ignite on a regular basis. I listen to it several times a day. We just, behind the secret doors of the vault, we just released a specific FBI Ignite track. Um, you're never going to hear it because that's the specificity of doing something expressly for the FBI. But I can tell you it's very aggressive. So I listened to it six times this morning and I was absolutely jacked up out of my marbles. Um, I don't usually do that a lot, but I listen to Ignite all the time. And sometimes I literally need to go new calm to calm down because I've forgotten I'm listening to it and I've listened to it too much. I have a playlist and I just cycle through it. Okay. You're gonna use this how you wanna use it. And when you feel agitated, if you have new calm, you can new calm. If you feel agitated and you've done too much Ignite, eat some food. But every day is gonna be different. Some days you're gonna to listen to one track, some days you're gonna to listen to Legendary on a repeat loop three or four times. Some days you're gonna be activated really quickly. Some days you're gonna to listen to certainty. Some days you're gonna to listen to gratitude. So where did certainty and gratitude derive from? So Tony Robbins and I have been friends for six plus years, and I understand Tony pretty well. And when we developed this track for the DOD and the professional athlete, I called Tony up and said, hey, we developed something for the DOD, special forces operators and professional athletes. Are you interested? Of course he is. He's Tony Robbins. So he listened to it. He called me up immediately. He was freaking out and said, this is unbelievable. This is incredible. This is the most powerful thing I've ever heard. I said, of course it is. We own the only patents in the world for all of this. So everything we do is unique and singular. Nobody else on earth is doing what we're doing. Okay. So he said, what can we do with this? I said, we can do anything, Tony. We got the best scientists in the world. We can do anything. We understand how to use the brain and how to manipulate the brain. So he said, all right, great. So we flew to Toronto, Canada, and we trained the Washington Capitals prior to winning the Stanley Cup. The next year we flew to Oakland and we trained the Golden State Warriors prior to winning the NBA championship. Therein lies the voiceover for certainty and gratitude. That's where they came from. So Tony is an incredible motivator and we share a similar purpose. Our organization and Tony and his organization are on this earth at this time to improve humanity. We do it through technology. We do, th we do it through accessing an on-demand portfolio of technology that you can change your state with no drugs. He does it through motivation and coaching 
and dialogue and information sharing. But the combination is very, very powerful. So when you listen to certainty, it's training professional athletes. When you listen to gratitude, it's training professional athletes. Um, I will tell you this, it's May 6th, 2021. In about a week or two, we have cleansed the gratitude track. There's, I think, three curse words in the track. And we've also made it gender agnostic. So we'll have a cleaner version. We can get rid of the explicit tag and you guys can listen to gratitude. Gratitude is really fascinating. There's a complexity to it because it's almost oxymoronic. The gratitude piece and the gratitude aspect of our life, it seems to be a more calming aspect of our life and a more controlled aspect of our life. Yet you're putting it on the most powerful physics platform designed to create Ignite Warrior Brain. It's a really cool combination. So we have thousands of people who love the gratitude track and listen to it on a regular basis because even though they're getting jacked up and they're getting ready to do whatever it is they're going to do, they're feeling this sense of internal love and equanimity and balance from gratitude. So that's where those tracks came from. We have two more instrumental tracks in the works. The complexity of building a track takes about anywhere from five to nine months. Essentially what happens is the software is developed and we decide or determine the, not only the arc, but the ramp. So what's the ramp up to gamma or what's the ramp down into alpha and theta? And then what's the duration of being in theta? So there's a map of the time signature and everything we do has a defined closed end loop. You do not need to listen to any of our tracks in its entirety, but all of them is de defined for a, a singular purpose, okay? So you have this track and you have the physics and it's all math. Well, you can't compose music on top of physics with math and not be using the pitch and the frequency matrix. So the tracks are designed with the math. That's why it's like brain surgery. So it takes us a long time to create these tracks because we're constantly having to do one, we have to work with the math, we have to work with the algorithms, we have to work with the physics, and two, we have to work with the understanding that the reticular activating system will figure out patterns and will create this resistance to what we're trying to accomplish. So we have two tracks that are in the making. They've been probably almost a year in the making and they were uh, ready for launch actually next month. And then one thing we learned from our data, because we love data, is 39% of our Nucom users were using Nucom in the middle of the night, biohacking any type of technology they could to help them solve a really acute problem called bad sleep. Well, Nucom isn't designed to use throughout the night. That's not what it's intended for. Alpha and theta are just two stages of the sleep architecture of a human being. So we don't advise people to listen to Nucom all night. You won't get into the delta, which you need to. So we looked at that and said, holy cow, we have this incredible data. There's over 15 million minutes of new calm to look at recently. The average length of a new calm session is 50.6 minutes and people are using this in the middle of the night. So we took a step back as an organization and said, hey, Ignite's amazing. The three tracks are amazing. You'll never build resistance to it. And the purpose is not literally the melody. The purpose is the physics and the physiological outcome and the state change. We're good there. We've redeployed our resources to bring sleep to market. So when I said in about three months, sleep's coming, that's how it all comes, comes to be. After we launch the sleep, probably in the fourth quarter, we'll have two more Ignite tracks. And as we move forward as an organization and as we grow and build out the portfolio, we'll continuously build upon the physics. We'll continuously build upon all the instrumentation and all the complexity of what we do because the advances in neuroscience is perpetually dynamic. We're constantly learning more and more and more of how to be better. So we'll always work on that, but we'll also engage on the female side of some of the voiceovers as well. It's not by choice that we said, hey, let's you know, expressly work with Ben Greenfield or Luke Story or Tony Robbins. We're a neuroscience company, focusing our time, energy, and resources on building the best mousetrap. It was Tony that came to us. It was Luke Story that came to us. It was Ben Greenfield that came to us or Jim Quick. They came to us saying, hey, this sounds amazing. I could really use it. Then they started using it. They adopted it in their life and they became you know, advocates for us. So we were just 
filled with gratitude and opportunity. That's it. But now that we've launched a subscription model, now that we've taken a highly regulated class three medical device that sold for $4,695, lowered the barrier to entry by 99.15% and allowed people to join the new call family for 40 bucks, now we get to do the fun stuff. We don't have to play in that sandbox behind the curtain anymore. We're out in the open doing really cool things. So I would suspect in the next year, we will have several different voiceover opportunities in the Ignite category. We'll also have more and more musical elements in the Ignite category. And even next week, seven months in the making, we will have another new Calm Rescue 70 track. So again, Ignite is the perfect gift for the human condition to allow you to change your state with no drugs, no side effects, on demand, when you want, how you want it. You put the headphone on, you listen to it, and off you go. And you're gonna love it. And it's gonna help you motivate, it's gonna help you focus, it's gonna be a mood enhancer, it's gonna make you feel unstoppable, amazing, certain, it's unbelievable. And then on the other side of the equation is new calm. That's the balance, the more boring stuff, but it's really the important stuff. If you'd like to live a long, healthy lifestyle, have improved resilience, improved immune health, and improved emotional balance across the continuum of fear, stress, anxiety, depression, and worry, it's a really good portfolio to start with. You got new calm and alpha and theta, and you've got ignite warrior brain and gamma. We're good to go. Use it. Enjoy it, embrace it, and um, that's it. Happy 6th of May. Happy 6 de Mayo. And thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Do we have any questions? We do. Erica, do you have any in the chat, or do you want me to start with some of the pre-submitted ones? You can go ahead with the pre-submitted ones. I've been keeping on top of most of them and I'm still working through a couple. Erica has ignited and there's no question she can't rapidly respond to. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm going to start, a lot of them you already covered in the conversation, Jim, but one that I don't think you did, how does ignite affect your HRV? Oh, it's, it's, it's going to compromise, it's going to compromise your HRV because you're basically activating the sympathetic tone of HRV. So heart rate variability is if you're looking at the true measurement on a sensitive level, you're looking at something called the sympathovagal balance, the sympathetic nervous system over the denominator of the parasympathetic nervous system. You are absolutely gonna activate the sympathetic nervous system. So your HRV, the complexity of the organism should be com compressed as you activate the LF, which is a low frequency of HRV. Okay, one more question. Um, many biohackers stack Nucom with other modalities. Is that being done with Ignite and in what way? How, what would you stack? Well, so, so Nucom is amazing. We, we've stacked it with 2 million surgical procedures. That's true stacking, okay? Uh, we know what we can do with Nucom because with Nucom, if you're doing chemotherapy, or if you're doing dialysis, or if you're doing any medical procedure, or you're doing a uh, bio mat doesn't matter when you lower the stress response you make the body more permeable and it's a great easy way to stack what are you going to stack with ignite i have no idea what possibly could i do in addition to activating all my resources as a human being to put me in an absolute state of certainty and unstoppable power physically mentally and emotionally i have no idea what i would use to stack Ignite. But I do know this, the human curiosity, the human desire to figure stuff out, to mega dose, to stack, you guys will figure it out. You'll figure something out. We'll hear from you and we'll totally love hearing from you and we'll totally enjoy talking about it and figuring it out. Okay. Um, that was good. I actually use it with coffee sometimes in the morning and it is a little bit of an added boost, but that's What's just- good? Get on the bus. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> um, so how are athletes using Ignite? Are there measured scores and performance results? And I know you talked about an NBA championship. So that's a pretty interesting result. That's an awesome question. So whoever asked the question, I love the curiosity and I love the naivety. Anybody who's ever worked with a professional athlete understands this. 
the professional athlete is a closed door and is not open for negotiation, business, or sharing. They don't share competitive intelligence with anybody. So we hear kind of metadata and we hear kind of on a big scale what they do. The only time that we have found an athlete to be permeable and open to sharing their secrets is when they're kind of at the end of their career and they want to give back to the youth of their team. That's it. So of the 49 professional sports teams and who we use, how we use, what we use, it is so hard to create an independent variable or to do some type of side-by-side -side comparison because a professional athlete has access to everything on the planet, okay? Whether the team buys it or they purchase it themselves or their coaches get it. So we could never isolate and say, hey, for the next week of your season, just use Ignite and Newcomb and this is what we want to do. That will never happen. So we have no idea specifically besides anecdotal. Now on the personal level and the personal biohacker and the personal endurance athlete, you can see it dramatically because while you're working out, you can see the difference in your outcome. So you're going to be breaking your personal record time and time and time again. I'll give you a personal anecdote. Um, and this is just me. I'm six feet, 225 pounds. I've got a big upper body and chicken legs. I don't deserve to own a Peloton. I should never be on a Peloton. When I do the Peloton and I do a course, I'm okay. I'll finish a 30 minute session at about 350 kilowatts. It's good. But when I do it with Ignite, last week, I did a scenic ride in Taiwan. I finished 131st out of 231,000 riders. I thought I was going to have a heart attack. I, my cadence was up to 155. My family's like, you're not supposed to pedal that fast. That is the difference of Ignite and blocking out. You know, when lactic acid starts building in your quads and stuff, and you start thinking, why am I doing this? This sucks, right? It doesn't happen when you're on Ignite. You push through, and when you're done, you look at that Peloton and say, is that the best you got? So that's what's going to happen. But on the independent research per athletic team, that will never, ever, 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 ever happen. And it's unfortunate. The professional athletic arena is really unique. We love serving them because they know their bodies really well and mentally, and you can see their performance different. You can see, all right, we can't, we, we're, we've never been exploitive of the athletes we work with. And that's one of the reasons we have such trusted relationships with these athletes for the last 11 years. But you can see when you're watching sports, when kids are operating like monks in a high pressure situation, chances are they're using new calm. We'll never tell you because we can't. But there's a ton of athletes out there in the individual sports like tennis and golf or the MMA. We do a lot of work with MMA. And these folks are in a place where they just seem either mature beyond their years or really calm in the state of chaos around them. They're probably using our product. We see it and we love it, but we can't share it. And then one last question is, do you have a, if you're um, stacking new calm and ignite, is there a specific journey or session length for new calm that you would recommend to then immediately stack with ignite? Awesome. The recommended journey that we always uh, would put out there is rescue 70. Rescue 100 and rescue uh, 120 are amazing as well. So rescue 70 is designed and built, it's almost like a, a, a opera. It's almost like a rock opera. It's some of the most powerful physics we've ever created. And since we have the most powerful physics as a platform on earth, if it's the best we have to offer, you can extrapolate is the best in the world. New Calm 70 is amazingly powerful at taking you to the deepest depths of theta and keeping you there. So for every minute you're in the New Calm experience, your body is getting the most cellular restoration humanly possible. The key here is when people see the, see the time signature, they panic. I don't have 70 minutes. Nobody has 70 minutes. It's not designed for you to stay in for 70 minutes. When you new call, much like when you eat a meal, I can't tell you how many bites you're gonna take. Your body should tell you when you've had enough food. Well,
They love being driven somewhere. So it's really to each his own. I think if we did a muscle test, an endurance test, we'd find that when you listen to the voiceover, Ignite is a little stronger than the typical legendary or the instrumental. That's just my expectation, but we've not measured the difference. Okay, and you um, you did mention this before, and I, I saw some questions in the chat about this. Are the discs unnecessary or optional for Ignite sessions once they upregulate, uh, since they upregulate GABA? Great question. The disc is not to be used with Ignite. Do not use the new calm disc with Ignite. Do not do it. <laughs> Don't do it. It's not designed for it. Currently, there is no disc for Ignite. When there becomes a disc for Ignite, it'll have dopamine agonists and it'll have things like vitamin B12. It has nothing to do with new calm. Ignite has nothing to do with new calm. It's housed in the new calm app because if we let humans have free reign over adrenaline, you will drive your adrenals to fatigue without any self-regulation. So we're doing this to protect humans from themselves. But Ignite is not anything like New Calm, has nothing to do with New Calm. It's simply the same method to create a different physiological outcome. Okay. Um, so I think you um, covered all the questions that were pre-submitted. And I know that, Liz, um, that Monica and Erica have been managing the chat really well. Um, I, it's two, it's 3.01 Eastern time. Sorry, I'm on central time. If there's any other questions that have been unanswered, if someone would either like to take yourself off mute or throw it in the chat. I know we're at the end of our hour and we don't want to um, disrupt schedules too much. Well, let me just take a second to uh, express my gratitude to everybody joining us today. I know uh, an hour of your time is a lot. Um, I also know there's a ton of curiosity for what we do uh, and what we do is real and what we do is proven and what we do is patented and what we do is proven neuroscience. Just because we ask you to suspend your disbelief and try to understand how listening to music can elicit a state change doesn't mean it's not real. So it does seem like magic. Sometimes it seems like a miracle. It's neither. This is neuroscience. We've been pioneering it for the last 20 years. And the beauty of what we've created is it's always safe. It's always predictable. We can do these all day. We can talk to you guys about applied neuropsychobiology, the brain and the complexity of the central nervous system versus the autonomic nervous system and all the things we do and how using physics to address the caudate nucleus of the midbrain can activate the cerebellum and create laterality across the left and right brain channels. We can do that all day. In reality, it's the simplification of complex neuroscience delivered to you. So on demand, when you want, you can be who you want to be, how you want to be. And it's amazingly easy. That's the beauty of what we've created. You want to ignite, listen to ignite. You want to restore, do new calm. That's it. So thank you for your time. We appreciate it. We love welcoming more and more and more people to the new calm family. It's the family that you keep. So thank you. Much love. Uh -huh.